Tell us about what you're doing here and how you're transforming into this digital economy. Well, I have five key themes that I want to share with, with you today. So number one, I'm happy to say digital is a national agenda. Um, and it's a, it's a concerted effort across the entire system with government, private sector, public sector to make sure that to, to, and to make sure that digital is a core growth to the, core to our growth agenda and um, um, we're all concerted over the next decade. Um, number two, there's a lots of momentum that's in the system. 2019 was a very busy year for all things digital in Malaysia. Mm. In 2020, we expect that to be even busier. Um, today, as you said, we account for the digital economy is about 18.5%. Um, we're on track to be make it 20%. And when you look at just the internet economy alone of ASEAN, that's about 100 billion um, US dollars. Um, and Malaysia's internet economy is about 30% of that. Yeah. And, and we're expecting that um, economy to triple over the next five years. Uh, I wanted to ask you as well the progress on the digital free trade zone. I understand you've secured some investment. How much there? Um, in the digital free trade and zone. How's it I think when, when, when we think of the digital free trade zone really is a concerted effort to digitize cross-border trade. So its three com core components are making sure that companies continue to export and so we're digitizing that process to make sure that companies are ready to actually take on global markets um, like China. Mm. Um, two, digitizing the cross-border process and so making sure that processes from filling out forms get converted to digital and of course making sure that we've got a robust logistics um, um, capabilities as well. And, and so it's end-to-end -end cross border trade is what we're very focused on. Talk us through as well the digital tax impact and how that's impacting the digital economy in Malaysia. So uh, the digital tax is meant to level the playing field and it's set to go on in place in January 2020. And we expect that to be business as usual after that. So everybody's readying themselves and um, um, business as usual after that. Serena, tell me, what is your biggest challenge? not having enough time. Um, uh, digital is gone from a vertical to a horizontal and, and, and getting everybody, accelerating digital adoption is a core part of the agenda and making sure that people know um, um, what to do. I think they realize you know, um, the need to actually go digital and so executing capabilities is the, is the biggest challenge right now. But having said that though, the innovation economy in Malaysia is robust um, um, and it's attracting lots of investments. Um, if I talk about um, um, startups, for example, um, we are seeing maturing of our startup ecosystem. Um, just this year alone, uh, just this year alone, um, our companies in, 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 in MDEX portfolio, i.e. companies that we, we oversee and help guide and train and, and, and coach, um, they've raised 150 million US dollars in Series B, C um, funding. Um, there is dry powder in the system, um, driving digital adoption. Um, this year alone in our budget, in Malaysia's 2020 budget, the government's put aside matching grants to spur digital activity in Malaysia. We expect, we hope to be able to, to, to catalyze 1.6 billion worth of, of um, digital solutions for companies to, to adopt digital. There's lots of momentum on the corporate innovation side as well. We're starting to see large companies um, work with um, early stage companies to help drive digital adoption. Examples such as Petronas and, and AirAsia. Okay, are you and, getting enough support, do you think, from the government here, Serena? Do, do you think that the government and government policies are aiding you in your endeavours? And how, what sort of relationship do you have with the authorities? So, I would say absolutely. It was very clear, and, and, it, it, and for us at, 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 at MDEC, um, when you look at the budget 2020, the core theme that the government had announced was accelerating digital. So everything from tax incentives to attract investments from multinationals and unicorns to specific grants to cattle, uh, to incentivize training and upskilling. And so, so it's a concerted effort across. Agencies are coming together, ministries are coming together. And, and for us, every single thing that we do involves 
four different ministries. So think about, um, yeah. and, and we're getting the, the, the support um, and sometimes I feel like the challenge is like not having enough time and um, to, to attend to um, the, the, the needs and the demand. Time is something we have no control over. What about control though of stopping startups from coming to the likes of Singapore and using that as their base rather than uh, Kuala Lumpur, for example? So I think that used to be the case a number of years ago. I don't think we're seeing that as much now because as the system continues to mature, and, and, and it is, um, we're starting to see um, the ability of um, um, our startups, the ability to attract capital globally mm. and its location agnostic. Because the reality of it is that Malaysia makes for a very good base to ASEAN. And, and our startups are actually expanding regionally much faster than some of our, their, their regional peers.